my children today because they were having a lot of meltdown. But I do have my friend Dory, who is the best dog ever. My friend Elise is helping me today. And get excited because you're about to see Elise in some workouts. Anyway, good morning. Lydia is here. Laura, Linda, Simone, Tina. Hey, can you say hi? Nah, not the same. Okay, <laughs> you can go with your mommy. Bye, Dory. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Elise. Thank you, Dory. It's helping me out today. So we are doing Winter Olympics workout today. It is going to be so much fun, right? Dory is so cute. Now everybody's going to say hi, Dory. She's the best. Natalie is here, Emily, and maybe Ryan, Megan, Chelsea, Alyssa, Heather is here. All right, team. So you're representing your home country, whatever that might be. You can let me know right now, or you can let me know at the end. We are doing Winter Olympics today. Vivian is gonna do it tomorrow morning. Carrie and Jeff in South Carolina, Shailene, Allison and maybe Avery are here. Megan, Alozia, yay! Becky is here with her six-year-old. Chelsea, hi. Robin and Scotty, yay, excellent. Carrie in, in uh, Ontario, amazing. All right, team, so. We're gonna get to it. We are gonna use some weights today. The way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have a snow round and an ice round, and we're gonna go through everything once body weight. That'll be a little more cardio based, but also strength. And then we will add some weights. The weights are optional. You don't have to add them. It's just to get a little extra. If you wanna just keep it body weight, keep it fun. We're gonna have a good time no matter what we do. All right, so are we ready? Hey, Erin, Jenny, Mariah, Allison, Ashley. Oh, and her little one awesome team all right so um i'm gonna step over and get my clock started you make sure that you have some space you have some weights it'll probably be mostly dumbbells but we'll add some other things in if we want all right i'm gonna get my airflow going because we're gonna get hot in here i'm gonna start the clock and then we will get right to it all right team gotta do a little bit on my own today All right, here we go. I think that did it, right? Okay, <laughs> so let's get started with a little jog or a march, just a random glass hanging out here. <laughs> all right, so I don't have Kurt today who's usually doing all things production, but that's all right, we're gonna get it done. So we're gonna roll through those shoulders like always, we are going to do a Q&A and just a hangout session after this workout. So if you wanna hang out, if you can hold your questions until the end, you can certainly keep commenting. I love that, I love hearing from you all. But as soon as we are done with this workout, I will grab my computer, probably my phone today actually, and we will chat. So let's take it out nice and wide and let's just round through our back and take it up. So just about 35 minutes today, as you saw on the clock, and it's gonna be a good time. If you did our summer Olympics workout, you know we had a lot of fun. Just sort of mimicking all of the sports. Hold it here, roll those shoulders. So get excited. And if you have been following my social media, hey, Sandra is here. Thank you, Robin. So people are asking about my recovery. So I did, let's round it up. Whew. Let's step it out right here. So I had a little skin surgery. I had an appointment with a dermatologist. They found two little spots, one on my leg, one on my shoulder, that came back as melanoma. Thankfully, everything looks good. I just had the leg right about two weeks ago. Had a little skin surgery for them to take it out. Everything looks good. They seem to have gotten it all. So that's good news. But I really haven't been able to work out much in the last two weeks. Just a little upper body and some walking. So this is really my first kind of real day back. Don't worry, let's reach it down, reach it up. I do have clearance from my doctor to be working out today. Let's take it here. If you're able, walk it out. I am gonna be extra careful, so there may be some things that I either don't go all the way to the ground or where I modify uh, according to the intensity or if it's a lot of flexion on my leg. It's right on the top of my leg, it's healing pretty well. Hold it here, team and press it back. So thank you everybody for your well wishes and for checking in on that. I am fine, but I just had to wait for that skin to heal. Let's go one more and then walk it back to here. 
but I can already feel it, right? As I always remind you, you are not gonna lose your progress or lose your strength when you take time off, but you will feel your endurance a little bit more, and that's okay, that's a good thing. So that's what I'm gonna be feeling today, I think. All right, if you're able, drop it down right here. Take that hand down, reach it up. That's where it might be a little too much for me because it's stretching right there. So I'm gonna stay up here and drop my knee. If you can, you know what to do. Drop it down here. So down and up, here to here. There we go. And of course, I'm going to remind you all. And then take that top hand, reach it under, reach it up. I'm gonna hold onto the wall because I'm not low. Remind you all to wear your sunscreen and also, and then step it up, other side, drop it down. This one I'm okay with. Wear your sunscreen and make sure, drop that knee. I'm not gonna go deep, but you can. That you see your dermatologist at least once a year. Get your skin checked, reach under and up. Under and up. Step it in, take it here. Here we go, tap it out and reach. Ha! Ah. Anyway, Carrie, thank you. Thank you, be where you are today. Yes, that has been my motto for the last couple weeks and it's been good. I don't do very well when I have to slow down. It's not, I'm not used to it, reach over. I'm used to really going at a certain pace and it has been good for me. I think my body has enjoyed the rest. And as I talked about yesterday on social media, I also have realized how much I need working out for all of those other reasons, the mental health aspect. Uh, controlling my anxiety, just feeling better in general. It's making me remember <laughs> how much I need that, but also how much our body needs rest, right? So never underestimate rest and recovery. That is a part of your health and fitness journey. Let's take it across right here. All right, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna start with our snow round. We're gonna do some fun exercises, starting body weight, then we will add a little weight to it. Let's take it here. And here, just like this, and breathe. Here we go. All right, so grab a sip of water if you need it. Try to keep those feet moving. So, ooh, here we go. 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest for our body weight round. And then when we get to adding that weight, we'll take it to 45, why not, right? All right, so. Just having a little fun with it. You can be where you are today. You showed up today, you are successful, so I don't care what it looks like. We're gonna start with just our skiing, right? So we're here, we're here. You can step it side to side, or if you wanna take it more here to here, as if you're taking off, right? Whew. Down the slope, going around those flags, right? All right, so Jamie is here in rainy British Columbia. Let's pretend like we're in the snow. Let's get it done, 40 seconds, starting in three, two, one, skiing, here we go, side to side. So this is another thing, if you wanna keep it more cardio, depending on what you're needing today, you can keep it a little higher. If you want more of that leg work, you get low with it. It's only 40 seconds, you got it. So those skiers are kind of always in that squat motion, right? So their quads and glutes and hips are super strong. Remember, here's your modification, just a step. But I do want you to get that little twist for your core, right? And back. Yes. And back. Three, two, one. Good job, skiers. You made it. All right. How about we switch to our snowboard? So you know what it is. We're going to take it here. Step it in. Take it here. You're switching your sides. Depending on if you want to jump it, you can. Otherwise, you just make it that squat. In three, two, one, here we go. So down and here. And you can switch however you want. If you want to take it quick, just here. I know, I don't want it to be too much jumping, so feel free to take this one just to a squat. I'm gonna adjust my fan because that is getting in my face. And touch that board. Here we go, right? If you want to get fancy with it, Take it, up, up, right, Woo. or up to here. All right, I'm not gonna do that, but <laughs> you keep going for five more seconds. Here, three, two, one, and relax. 
All right, team, so freestyle, freestyle skiing, or maybe even half pipe. But let's think of freestyle, you know when they do those big jumps with their arms and their legs out? We're gonna take it down for a little bit of core. If you need to modify, keep it up top, or take it to a bridge. Otherwise, we're here, you're skiing, skiing, skiing. Jump it out, here we go. Ski, 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 and out. Everything's in super tight. You're going down the slopes. Here's your standing version right here. So you're skiing, you're jumping, you're skiing, you're jumping, or you can really jump it up, that big star jump. But ski, freestyle, take it up, whoo, and out. Ski, lots of core, bring it in nice and tight. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Ha! Good work, team. All right, so how about a little cross country? Let's take it here. So we're taking it little step, little step. It's up to you. If you want to make it more of a lunge, you can. If you want to make it more of a jump, either high or low, you can. Either way, opposite arm, opposite leg, ready. Here we go. Or you can go up with it. That works too. I might take it to more of a lunge with a little less of that jump, depending on how you're feeling. With the jump, right? Breathe. Take it up. Hup. Breathe. Get low with it. Reach those arms out, right? Here. Here, 10 seconds. Or here. Here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, team. All right, that was a lot of cardio, right? Let's get a quick sip of water. Whew. Let's take all of those again, but we're gonna add a little weight to it. So everything will look a little different. Hmm. All right, team, so with our skiing, we actually have two rounds of weights. I'm gonna go a little lighter because we're aiming for a kickback and also a press. So, watch me here. Whew. While you catch your breath, you can just keep your feet moving. So, when you see those skiers in that starting position, what do they do? They use their poles to push off, right? So we're gonna keep it in that low squat. We're gonna go with those kickbacks. Halfway through, we're taking it, up because when we see those ski jumpers, this is how they train, right? They get low, they have to really learn to push out of their skis, push out of their boots, so this is gonna be a squat press. So pick your pleasure with your weights. We got 45 seconds, pushing back for kickback as if you're pushing off that starting block. I don't know if it's called a starting block, but I'm guessing it is. And then we will take it with that squat and press. Has your heart rate come down yet? Mine hasn't, but maybe that's because I took two weeks off. Here we go. Hinge it here, you're in that squat and a little hinge. Three, two, one, here we go, push back. Push. And what I want you to think about is power, right? As if you can come up out of that squat if you want to, if you can keep that hinge and it doesn't bother your back. We're here. Breathe. Push. Kick back. Elbows up. As if you're pushing those poles to give you that power right at the beginning of the race. Talking a lot about power this month in February Fire. Here we go. Take it down. Press it up, drop it low, press it up. Now we're getting out of those boots. <sighs> Freestyle, huh? or that half pipe, well, all those things, we gotta get those jumps in for skiing. Three, two, one, yes. Woo, are we feeling it? I think so. All right, team, so I want you to grab one heavier one. Here's what we got for snowboarding. Whew. You're here, now. Actually put it on front, because I don't want anybody to trip over your weight. Here's what we got. You're gonna snowboard, take it center, either high pull or snatch. You're gonna go one side and then the other, and then back to your snowboarding. Back to center, high pull, high pull, or snatch, snatch. Does that make sense? Let's get it done. You got 45 seconds, squat, jump center, snatch, snatch, squat, jump center. Here we go, down, center, High pull or snatch, high pull or snatch, take it here. Jump center, Whoop. 
Remember that snatch? You're pulling up against your body. Take it here, get low. Take it center. High pull, still power. Take it here, snowboard. Take it center, grab that board. Think of this as when you grab that board and you get high. Maybe we're on the half pipe. Whew. Breathe. Take it up. Ha. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Yes. Breathe. That was fun, right? Ha. All right, team. So let's grab some weights. Whew. So we got our freestyle. What we're going to do, we're going to add one or two dumbbells. If you have some lighter weights, you're going in, you're going out. If that feels like too much, I just want you to do the press and out. Totally up to you. We got 45 seconds. If you have a heavier weight, you can also just do one. In three, two, one, ski it. Take it out, jump. Ski tight. Bring it in, Whew. and out. So if you have heavier weights, just go straight up. Bring it in, straight up, there we go. In tight, and up, yes. You can do it, keep it going. Ha, everything in tight, then out wide. Really feel that core, so don't rush it. Use that core to stabilize for these last 10 seconds. Whew. Breathe, you can go straight up two, in three, in two, in one, and out. Whoo! Ha! All right, team, so cross country. We're adding a bicep curl. So you can probably grab some medium weights. It's up to you. We're gonna alternate our lunge, and we're gonna curl. So alternate lunge, alternate curl. You decide how low you wanna get. If you wanna keep it a little higher, I might do that. You can just tap it back. Last thing with our snow sports. Let's get it done. Shoulders back, core engaged. In three, two, one. Lunge and curl, cross country ski. Obviously we're going a little slower. Breathe, take it down, and breathe. Get low, push out of that front heel. Again, to modify, just don't get as low. You can also have one dumbbell for the curls. Up to you. We got 15 seconds. Keep it going. Whoo! And breathe. Hup. Ten to go. Core engaged, not rushing. Rushing. Whoo! Use that front heel to control. Three, two, one. Yes! Grab a sip of water. Ha! Ah. Who felt that? I know I did. Whoo! Ha! Ah. 19 minutes to go. Can we get all of our ice sports in? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. All right, catch your breath, team. Shake everything out. If you need some little mobility work, take it here or roll through. I'm gonna talk you through our next round. So same idea. Keep getting my hair caught. Whoo, right here. Same idea, our first round. We've got body weight, so a lot of it will be cardio. Surprise, speed skaters in here, you probably couldn't guess that. We've got some cardio, we've got more core, and then we will add our weights. Hi, Robin is hopping and popping, I'm glad to hear that. Megan says, woo! All right, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's my line. All right, so we're starting with our speed skating. You know it, we do it all the time as a cardio drill. You can just tap behind and cross, or you can really get low into those outer thighs. But as you know, when we add those weights, we're gonna get low. Let's do it in three, two, one. Huh. Here to here. Yes, you can. Huh. Just like this, get low. Rachel is gonna do this on Monday. Faye, yes, everybody gets a medal. Surprise, spoiler. <laughs> get down there. Huh. Try to get into that hip, quick, on that ice. You probably can guess this is how they train. They do a lot of that lateral work, a lot of that hip, outer thigh, abduction, but a lot of control on the inside too. Three, two, 
One. Catch your breath. All right, so a little figure skating. Why not? Whew. Let's take it to a little shuffle and arms here to here. You can keep it nice and slow like this, or you can really as if you're skating back into your jump. Let's do it. Here we go. Shuffle. Whoo. Breathe. We're going to do something totally different for figure skating when we add weights. And you're going to like it. Here. Ha. And here. And breathe. Take it here. Big scoop of the arms. Look over your shoulder. Ha. If you need to slow it down, just double step. Scoop the arms. If you want to pick it up, you're really getting that pacing to go into your jumps, right? Whoo! Three, two, one, and breathe. Ha! Ah, how are we doing, team? How about a little bit of core, right? All right, so we've got the luge. It's on our back, right? Skeleton is on our back. Somebody correct me. I, now I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Is luge on your back? Let's go to bobsled. Let's do bobsled instead. Somebody look it up for me. Remind me. Is luge here or is that skeleton? I think that's luge, right? All right. Here we go. Let's start with bobsled. So you're here. We're running to get onto our bobsled. So we're going to run, 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 run. You can just keep it here. Or if you really want to do it with that sprinter's crunch and then hold. So you can get back with it or you can go four, three, two, one, hold. Four, three, two, one, hold. If you're modifying, I want you to do it in the standing position. Here we go for 40 seconds in three, in two, in one. Here we go. So run, 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 run. Hold, get in your bobsled. Or take it here. Skeleton is on the front. Okay, thank you. And hold, thank you, Aaron. Woo. Take it up, run it, run it. Hold your bobsled. There we go. Run it, run it and hold or up top right here run run and hold let's take those curves take it here bring it up take it here lean into it bring it up twist and up yes you got it ah! we got five seconds whoo breathe three two one relax there we go team all right so now let's take it to our skeleton since we're here. All right, so skeleton, they run and they're on the front, right? Did I get that right? Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Nicola. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in our high mountain climber. Run for four, jump on your sled, hold it here, pop it back up. You can do it. If you'd rather, you can just do bird dog and take it down or just stick with the bird dog. Let's get it done for 40 seconds. Core engage, mountain climber if you can. Run to your sled, jump on. Skeleton, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Take it here, hold. Pop it up. Four, three, two, one. Take it here, hold. Pop it up. Hup, hup. Remember, you can tap it in and hold. Or if you want, you can even run from the top, jump it down like a burpee. That's what I did on my Instagram, but we're going to keep it here. Keep it going. Run, run, run. Hold it up. Yes. 10 seconds. Run, run. Hold. Last one. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Yes, team. All right. Catch your breath. How about a little hockey? All right. So hockey, they're skating. They're skating, right? And also a lot of that rotational movement. So here's what we got. We're going to skate and chop, skate and chop halfway. We're going right. And then we'll switch it halfway and left in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Chop and skate. So skate huh, and breathe. Huh. So think of it like that speed skating. And then you're coming up with the chop rotational movement for that core. In five, four, three, two, other side. Here we go. Skate, chop, or skate, hit, hook, just so we get both sides. Obviously, if you were really playing, you would probably only go one way, right? There we go. Skate, 
Chop. It's another one we're gonna do different when we add those weights. Breathe and relax. Ha! Ah, Jess is gonna do this tomorrow. Just gonna come from the Children's Museum. That sounds fun. Slap shot. Thank you, Robin. I think all my Canadians are probably gonna correct me on my hockey knowledge, and that's okay. Thank you, Robin and Scotty. Slap shot. Whew. All right, I haven't really gotten to watch much of it. All right, team, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. We got one more. Now we got that luge, right? Okay. So, on the luge, I watched a bunch of this last night. My brain is just fried today. All right, so, it's where they push off, right? So we're going here, here, down. Here, here, down. So you can do it two times, you can do it one. It is totally up to you. Last move of our ice sports before we add some weights. Let's get it done. In three, two, one. Push, push, sled. Hop, hop, down, there we go. Hop, hop, modification. You can just take it here. Bridge, and out. Take it bridge, and out. That works too. Up, up, and hold. Last one right here. Hold it here. Let's go a little bit to the right. You can do it. Ah! Little bit to the left. You can do it. Here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. All right, everybody grab a sip of water. Thank you, team. All right, let's get it done. We don't have much time, but we're gonna get it done. We're taking it to our speed skater. Grab two heavy weights if you got it. So we're gonna slow it down. Skater, curtsy lunge, row. Hop it or step it, whatever you want. Curtsy and row. We're gonna get it done. And we're gonna take it to a deadlift with our figure skating. Then we got some other fun things, but let's do it. Let's finish it out strong. In three, in two, in one. Curtsy row, speed skater, row, skater, row. Huh. Believe it or not, all these athletes do full body training. Sure, they train in different planes of motion and they train specific to their sport, but a lot of upper body in that speed skating, right? They've gotta be able to sustain this motion for as long as they do. So that low back, that mid back, super strong, right? So keep it going. Ha, huh, we have 15 seconds. Get low and breathe, hop it low. Ha, huh. last speed skating round for 10 seconds. Ho, we got five, four, three, two, one. Yes, relax. Give your hands a little break if you need it. Body weight or dumbbell. Here is our figure skating. We're gonna do our one-legged deadlift. If that feels like too much, you do that kickstand. They still do that in figure skating. All right, we got 20 seconds each side. One-legged deadlift, figure skating. Whoo, in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Take it out. Bring it up. Nice and slow and controlled, as if you're just gliding across the ice again. You can be here and up. You can be here. And keep it going. Down. Whew. Let's just get two more to finish it out. We'll go for reps. Last one. Yes. Whew. Shake that out. Little stretch. Same thing. Other side, figure skating. Here we go. And up. Whew. Or kickstand. Take it here. And up. Or if you want body weight, you can even do, whoo, get fancy with it. Ha, ah, I should have been a skater. <sighs> Clearly, so graceful. <laughs> Two more. Bring it up, last one. Yes, stretch that out right here, little stretch, whoo. All right, where do we go, Bob sled. Let's take it here. All right, team. So, have your weights on one side. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. You can take this standing if you need to. Run, 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 or up, up, whoo. And then you're gonna grab your weight, twist, twist, 
then back down, up and up, or run, grab the opposite weight, twist, twist, as if you're sledding down on the ice and you need to steer. All right, let's get it done. In three, two, one, here we go. So run, 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 grab your weight, twist, steer, and steer, or runner's crunch, up, grab your weight, steer, and steer. Do not have to be super fast on either, especially right here, we wanna control it as if you're sledding down the ice. Right, hup, hup, twist, whoo, twist. Yes, you can, lots of core, right? Twist, twist, whoo, hup, Angela, I know you're trying to be careful on that sciatica, that's so common. Just modify or drop out if you need to. You're not quitting, I know you work hard. So keep it going. Last five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Bring it up. No, keep it down, team. All right, so we're here. Let's do that mountain climber. We've got that weight. Get your weights out of the way. If you want, this time you can twist it. Run, two, that skeleton. Take it here. Push it up, all right? So run it however you can. If you need to keep it up, Angela, this might be a good one for you. Just mountain climber here and then squeeze. Let's get it done. In three, in two, in one. Here we go, run it. Hop on your sled. Skeleton, bring it up. Hup. So think of this here as like that Superman. I want you to squeeze through the back, squeeze through the glutes and hamstrings. Push up strong like a push up, right? So similar to a burpee, you can modify and keep it down. Hup. Keep it going. Yes, and breathe. Take it up, I'm going even slower just to protect my leg. Good, everybody hold it here, last 10. Just hold it up, steer to the right, steer to the left. Squeeze everything in the back of those legs and the back, three, two, one. Bring it up, ha 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 ha. Good work team. All right, what do we got, we got hockey. All right, so one dumbbell, you know what it's gonna be. Curtsy and chop. You decide if you wanna keep it close to your body, that works too, or if you can really chop it. If you wanna get low to high either way, low in that curtsy like you're skating. Let's get it done in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Take it here and up. Take it low. We got 20 seconds each side. And breathe here and here and up. Oh, yes. One more. Then switch your sides right here. Take it low to high. Yes, you can. And up. Breathe. Hup. Yes. Up. Last one right here. Good. All right, team, one more for hockey, because we love it. Have your weights out in front, just about this far apart. So let's be hockey goalies. So have you ever noticed they really get deep to grab things, and they get deep? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here, row. Here, row. All right, whatever you want, just think, Side lunge to side lunge, because they're always getting in those weird, crazy flexible positions with all that padding on, right? Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Here, hup. You can shuffle it. Get that puck, right? Here, you can even make a high pull. Dodge it, hup. Or just a row. Down, wide row. Take it low. So if you're a goalie, right? They're here. They're here, always getting it. Down. Get low. Ha! Keep it going. One more each way. Last one. Yes. Ha! Breathe. All right, guys. Last of your regularly scheduled programming. Let's get down. Woo, I'm tired, you guys. All right. Now, 
we are on the luge. I want you to have those weights close by. Here's what we got. We're gonna press it up. We're gonna drop it down and up. Take it here. Press it up as if you're pushing off, then grab one weight, slowly down and up. If you wanna do that without the weight, totally fine. If you wanna just keep it here, which is that reverse bridge, reverse plank, take it there. Here we go in three, two, one. Push up, lift up. With or without that weight, hold it here. Push up, lift up. Weight can be in or out. Take it here. Yes, you can. I know. Lots of core. Let's get one more right here, all the way through the full motion. Then take it here. Now hold it here with or without that weight. We're going a little bit steer to the right. Yes. Steer to the left. Take it up if you want. Woo. Steer. Luge. Three, two, one. Ha. And relax. Nice. Oh my goodness. Do we have just enough time for a bonus move? I think that we do. All right, team, weights out of the way. All right, anybody watch the biathlon? <laughs> That's where they cross country ski, but instead of your typical here, they really look crazy side to side, and then they shoot on the ground, and then they shoot up top. So here's what we got. You're skiing however you want. You can ski here, or you can ski here, because I feel like that's what they do. Then we're gonna pop it down. Here, grab your rifle, pop it up. Then you're gonna ski. Then you're gonna go here, whoo, and here. Transverse, side lunge, all right? So you can do a weight or not, but just pretend that you've got that rifle. Let's finish with my Avalon. Let's get it done. Clock is running out, but I don't care because I got a clock here. Let's get one minute. By Avalon in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Ski, ski, ski. Get low if you can. Grab your rifle. Take a couple shots. Bring it up. Whoo. Ski, ski, ski. Transverse, transverse. If you want, take it up the whole time and just keep it here. If you want to do that burpee and get low, that's okay too. Ski, ski, ski. Hup. Whoo. You got it. Take it up. Ha. Three. Yes. Take it. And here. Almost looks like archery, right? We did that with Summer Olympics. Take it low. Or take it here. Almost done. Hup. Let's get one more, all the way down. Whoo! You can pop it up. Yes! Ha! Whoo! And breathe. Tap it out. You did it! Yes, team. Ha! Grab some water, y'all. Now, as I said, I haven't really worked out in a couple weeks, but I was feeling that. I hope you did too. I hope I'm not the only one that's out of breath and feeling slow. But it doesn't matter. I felt slow. I could tell I needed a little more endurance. I needed to take it a little slower. And that is where I am today. And that is okay, because I showed up. You showed up. I don't care what that looks like as long as you have fun. Maybe you got a few laughs. Maybe you remembered you love sports. Whatever it is. You are here, and that is all that matters. Whoo! Angela says mine was more of a pistol than a rifle. I get it, whatever. <laughs> Good, Robin laughing and having fun. That is all that matters. Let's get a little hamstring stretch after that. I'm trying to make it where we could mimic the sports, but also get a full body workout where we could add some curls and some rows and some actual lunges, working in all the planes of motion, Get a little power, get some strength, get a whole lot of cardio, right? Yay, Olivia, it's so much fun. Carrie, thank you. Tierra says, oh my. Uh, <laughs> Allison says, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I loved it. Me too. I know, it kind of flew by. Hey, Remy, Remy, who's working out with Mama Mara? Ah, I will tell my kids, hi. Woo! 
Hi! Paul says, I didn't think we'd be shooting a rifle today. You never know what is going to happen in a live workout. Whoo, those swerves were tough, right? I know, you know what's funny, so take it here. Is there so many sports that literally look like you're just glad, like the luge, the skeleton, bobsled, like you're just gliding on the ice, but there's so much precision involved, so much strength, a lot of core strength to be able to steer. And I always think, man, especially if you ever see one of the crashes, which ooh, hopefully we don't, but like they have to be so good, so precise. It's amazing. Yes, Team Body Fit by Amy has won the gold. Mariah's nine month was giggling. I love it. All right, Olivia, I'm gonna get to your question in just a minute. Let's take it over to here. Ha, ah, breathe, whew. Take it over this way. Roll those arms back. Roll those ribs. Jenny had a lot of fun. We did all win the gold medal. So everybody make it to your podium. Huh. Give yourself a little bit of your anthem in your head. Wave to your crowd because you did it. We're so proud of you. Congratulate yourself. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your Winter Olympics workout. Great job, everybody. Woo! All right, team. So I am going to grab my phone here. Ha! Huh. All right. Whew. Let's bring it up here. All right, team. So if anybody has any questions, go ahead and bring them, put them in. Olivia had a question. I have terrible arm pain. Originally, I thought it was a pinched nerve. Now the pain is shooting down my arm and hand stretches. Yes, so that does sound like a nerve if it is shooting down. I'm not a doctor, so disclaimer. Um, but typically, sorry, I gotta put my leg out this way. Typically, um, if it's shooting, it is some type of nerve pain. I would recommend talking to your doctor or a physical therapist. A physical therapist would be your best bet. Um, you know, a lot of times those things are work related, especially if we do a lot of typing on a desk or you have your mouse. Is it the same side that you do a lot of work stuff on? Sometimes it's a mouse, sometimes it's a phone or fax machine or whatever it is. Um, so it would not be a bad idea to talk to your doctor or physical therapist because it could just be work related. Otherwise, I think those stretches on the wall that we just did where you can put your thumbs back and also making sure that you get up from your desk and that you, um, if you are somebody who works at a desk, not everybody does, but we all do a lot of this, right? This. So making sure you're getting out of that position. That would be my guess. But again, not a doctor. All right. Let me bring them up here. Yes, Sarah, we are ready for the Olympics. Thank you, Megan. Paula is definitely out of breath. Yes, I am healing. Thank you for your prayers and all, all of you who have said you've been thinking of me. Um, you know, I feel very lucky that uh, it's pretty minor that they got all of it and I will have surgery on the shoulder, which is right here, just skin surgery, but they do, if you've ever had a, you know, something removed, they do go in and take a big chunk. So it's a longer healing process than we think. Um, okay. So why can I not get this to come up on my phone? Okay. So <laughs> let's see. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Fred, for being here, Teresa. Yes, try the stretching, Olivia, and just see um, how that feels. All right, surely it's gonna let me view them from here. Maybe, maybe. Ah, okay, maybe not. All right, team, I just gotta go by my, um, my uh, comments up here. Thank you, Lori. All right, so if you had a question and somehow I missed it because I can't scroll right now, go ahead and put it in right here. Sorry guys, I don't have my laptop today. Um, so I'm just going by uh, what is up on here. So, Classy Cowboy, Shaylin, oh yay! <laughs> classy Cowboy is your husband. Ooh, you're married to a Classy Cowboy. Hey, Shaylin. Mel is here. Ah, Heather, where's my beanie? Yes, so if you watch my Instagrams or if you saw the cover photo of this, I did have my body fit by Amy beanie. Um, hat, whatever you call it, uh, where I'm from in the South, somebody tell me, hey, does anybody else call it toboggan? 
I know a lot of you are going to say a toboggan's a, a sled, but where I'm from in the country, in Virginia, we call hats like that, beanie hats, toboggans. So I was wearing my body fit by Amy toboggan, and uh, it was just going to be too hot, Heather. It is too hot to be wearing that. And also, my microphone is in my headband, so that is why. <laughs> um, all right, let's see if I can find the comments here. Uh, let's see, Chelsea is answering, Olivia, stretching helps my PT said I need to foam roll. Yes, down the arm, that can, that can help. Joe and I think Be Becca Fur, maybe Becky, had a great time together. Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, <laughs> Robin and Scotty, I think, are giving me all of either the hockey terms. Is that it? Um, let's see, Lori's asking, how many times should I work out with weights? So in my typical schedule, we usually have three to four days, this Saturday being the bonus, and then having some days off in between where we're doing at least something different, where you're doing a cardio-based workout or an active recovery, sort of mobility, Pilates, yoga, something like that. It is a good idea to give your body breaks in between unless you're alternating um, muscle groups. So yes, I'm seeing that question, kettlebells. Yes, so they should be in the description here. If not, then check whatever my latest workout is. So it is the TRX brand for these and these. They are having a sale right now, but if you also use my code, which is also in there, which is BodyFit, you can get an additional 15% off. So if you're ever looking for kettlebells, these hex ones are really great, kettlebells or dumbbells or the TRX, whenever they have a sale, you can stack my discount on top of that. So they always, they have great sales, they're really great products. So if it's not, I think it should be in this description. If not, go to my last video, it's in there. Um, click on that specific link, use the code BODYFIT, and you'll get a discount on top of it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Amy has a lunge question. Oh, oh, you, oh, you're able, you asked it last time, you can do the lunge without hurting. Oh, train tracks. Yes, sometimes it is the smallest thing, guys, that makes a difference um, in your form. So, definitely, this is the place to ask those questions. And then also over in the Body Fit Athletic Club, if you're able to join us, that is where we dig deeper on these things. Next month we're, um, or we, we do a form feedback where we talk through very specific things with form. You can ask your questions. We have lives every week and that's where we can talk a little more in depth. I do that as well as Vivian, who's our Body Fit Dietitian. So she um, is there for your nutrition questions, right? So that is a great place if you have more in-depth questions um, about your journey, but we do form stuff all the time. I'm so glad that was helpful, Amy. That makes me really happy. All right, so, I don't know, for some reason. Yep, still not letting me, ha Okay. Oh, there I am, okay. All right, team, now I can scroll back finally. All right, I'm gonna see if I missed any questions. Otherwise, thank you all so much for being here today. Um, this was so much fun. It was a great uh, workout back for me. As you can tell, I modified a little. Um, my leg is feeling good. Uh, so I got a couple more days to get a few workouts in and then I'll have my shoulder done. Um, hopefully this one will not be as deep. Um, but the good news is next month, we will have some guest stars in the videos. I have some people helping me. If you did the partner workout last week, you saw my husband, Kurt. He will be in some, my friend Elise, who is just helping me here. So we will have some guest stars. So you don't wanna miss workouts for next week. March momentum is coming. So get excited about the momentum challenge. We're gonna have a lot of fun stuff coming up. We'd love to have you join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club so we can get a little more personal on your specific journey. Um, but everybody can do the fitness challenge. Make sure you're on my email list so you get those emails with the links, you get the calendars. It's gonna be really, really fun. Let's see, oh, Ashley says, my postpartum body does not like my leggings. Do you recommend Fabletics or another brand? So Ashley, I think that's a thing. I can't remember if you um, had a C-section or not, but I know that was a thing for me for a long time, especially now legging, leggings are super high-waisted, but you know, years ago they weren't. And, um, and I know sometimes that can be a little tender, if that's what it is. I can't remember with you, Ash. But um, I, you know, Lululemon has, they're pricey, but they have, um, a brand or one of their styles is called the Align and it's super, super soft. You might check those out, the Lululemon Align. Um, I love them just for like lounging in the house because they're super soft and they're, they're compression but not doesn't feel super tight. So maybe trying that. 
Um, otherwise, it might be a matter of just trying stuff on. I do really like Fabletics. This is their Power Hold. I think it's their Power Hold 360, and that's also really soft. Um, worth trying, but I know what that's like, and sometimes it's just the longer you get out postpartum, the better it gets, but everything just feels different after having a baby. So, uh, yes, Chelsea also getting first workout of the week. Spent the week celebrating my birthday. Happy birthday, Chelsea. Eating lots of cake, pasta, and wine. Oh, good for you. I hope you enjoyed every bit, and now you're back to it, right? Oh, man. So, um, join the club. So the information should be in the description below. You can also go to my website, bodyfitbyamy.com. There's information on that. We still do have a discount, Body Fit 100, to get $100 off the yearly. So join us for that. There's also a monthly option. We do live um, Q&As every week. Vivian and I take turn, or every week we each cover a specific topic, either fitness or nutrition related. It's sometimes related to the theme or something that is maybe in the news or trendy or something that we talk about a lot um, or hear about a lot. Vivian does a recipe every week. We have a fitness Friday. We have a form feedback Friday. It's a really great group. A lot of them are here today, Chelsea. A lot of um, our fun athletic clubbers. So that's just where we can get a little personal, obviously. Anybody can do the workout videos. You can do, um, you know, you can do the momentum calendar, which is coming up. Just make sure you're on the email list. That's all you have to do. But if you really want to get a little more specific on your journey and get that more support, join us in the athletic club. I promise you won't regret it. We have so much fun in there. And, um, a lot of people have said that it's the most consistent they've been because they get the support of the community. So join us over there. Yes. All right, team. So Thank you so, so much. I'm going to see if I missed anything else. Oh, Melissa in Florida was your first live. Yay. Thank you for joining me. All right, team. So I'm going to sign off here. Join us next week. We're going to do a kettlebell total body burn. We did a dumbbell one at the beginning of the month. And then, of course, get excited about momentum. It is coming starting next Monday, February 28th, going through five weeks because we got basically five weeks in March. So get excited about that. I'll be talking about it more um, on our live next week as well. Thank you so, so much, everybody. I'm going to get up here. Ooh, I'm okay. <laughs> Have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bonnie's first live too. Thanks for joining. Happy birthday, Chelsea. Bye guys.